Okay, in today's video, we're going to be talking about gear issues. We're going to be talking about high, low gear ratios, and one-to-one -one gear ratios, and why would you want to change your gear ratio. Alright, starting off, we're going to be looking at a one-to-one -one ratio with these sprockets. Both of them have 20 teeth on the sprocket. So let's say this is on your motor, this is your rear axle. A five foot, five foot pound torque is going through this one, and the same amount of torque is getting applied to this one. So you're getting five foot pounds torque at the wheel. So now, let's reduce that gear ratio. This is gonna be a lower gear ratio, so every two turns of this sprocket is gonna make this one turn once because this is the 10 tooth and this is the 20. Two turns of this one is gonna rotate this one once. So if we have five foot pounds of torque at this output, we're gonna have 10 foot pounds right here, except the speed is gonna be halved. Flip these around and you now have a high gear ratio. Every time this 22 sprocket spins once, this one's gonna be spinning twice as fast. So if your RPMs stay the same, your wheel speed is going to be lower, I meant higher with this setup because it's going to be spinning twice as fast as what this sprocket is going to be doing. Okay, why would you want to change gear ratios? Okay, let's say you have a heavy go-kart. It's at a one-to-one -one ratio right now. you got two people on it. It's a heavy frame, big motor, and it's just not wanting to get off going off the line. And you're trying to get it moving. So with this one-to-one -one gear ratio, one turn here is going to be turning the sprocket one turn two. Now you're going to need more torque to move that heavy load going, get that heavy load going. So what we're going to do is we're going to half that ratio. We're going to turn it into a two to one ratio. So every two turns of this sprocket is going to rotate this one once. So we have twice the amount of available torque at, at the wheel. Being that we're going to half our speed, it's always a trade-off. You're losing speed for torque, but you will be able to get that machine moving. Okay, another scenario, you're trying to race somebody. You need more speed. you got the torque. You just need more speed. So you have the sprocket right here, which is a 22 sprocket. This one right here is a 10 tooth. Every time the sprocket rotates once, you're rotating this sprocket twice. So you're going to have twice the speed at this sprocket with half the torque. So if you got five foot pounds of torque at this sprocket, it's gonna be halved to 2.5 foot pounds of torque at this one. So you have less torque, but more speed. Gear ratio matters a lot. If you're gonna to be towing a heavy load, you're going to be needing a low gear. If you have a lightweight go-kart and you're trying to go fast, you're gonna need a high gear ratio. Gear ratio can change depending on what your drive system is. If your drive system is a centrifugal clutch, you're going to need a lower gear to keep your clutch from smoking and burning out. But if with the high gear, you're going to be able to achieve more speed, but you're not going to have the same uh, takeoff and wheel torque. You can use a lot taller gearing with a torque converter system because the torque converter system in itself is going to be the gear reduction unit and transmission. So you can start out... You can have a taller rear axle ratio and still be able to pull it, pull it with the torque converter system because it's going to be varying that gear ratio. With a 1 to 1 ratio you do not need to have um, this big of sprocket. You can use two 10 tooths or if you wanted to you could use two 22 sprockets to achieve the 1 to 1 ratio and there is pros and cons to the both. One pro for the smaller sprocket is that you're going to have less rotational mass, but you have less contact surface for the chain on the sprocket. 